I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, guys? Shibby2142 here. Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the PC. It's on Erica, Arika, whatever you want to call her. Harbor Rush. Doing it big. Now, this was pretty much an interesting round for me. Not because defending is fun, or I tank whore, or I play well. It's just the round before it was so horrible. You can see some of those non-frag let me shoot you and you no die why you no see damage and then I get knifed so after that crap I was like I'm gonna give you 870 shotgun one more try and if you're just gonna play like crap you're going back into the closet and you won't be getting used for quite a while that is why I like to stick to basically assault rifles if not the machine guns and sniper rifles, not so much a shotgun SMG guy, but usually as engineer you don't have many choices, which I am playing right now. I do switch to assault later, but on this first set I like using some anti-tank, that being the AT4, and our camper. We'll talk about him later. When I look at his name, it's like Canoper, I just see camper because that's basically what he's doing. I actually had a double take on his name a few times. And he missed a lot of stuff. I mean, people are just sneaking right by him. I killed this guy, another guy did run past the trees. I didn't see that at the time, but now watching the gameplay footage back, you can tell. And the only reason I really noticed him is because I heard him. So that's even more sad because, I mean, what is that guy doing? He might be like listening to music or something, but you're not going to be using your motion ball. You're going to be sitting under a tree. You know, not getting a tan. Why? I don't, I just don't understand. So many recons. And the reason why I leave that wall right there is because I assumed that that player who I was shooting looked like an engineer to me, and I assumed that Carl Gustav would be coming into the wall, therefore killing me. So, left that situation real fast. Going to move up because. Site B is getting uh, bombed by a tank back in their base, but you know, it's fine because I do hate this map. Or at least not this map, but this stage. This stage is just so boring, and the rest of the map is so good that it's really just a big disappointment. So, hopefully for Battlefield 3, level design, a little bit better. See uh, sniper rounds flying in. There's a game right now, I am running on DirectX 11. Uh, basically max settings. I don't have the AA, anti-aliasing, turned up all the way, and I do not have the high ambient whatever super light flare chocolate sauce 720p on. So you'll notice that this does look pretty good though. This is using a DX Story to record, playing at 1080p, but recording exactly at 720p. So if you uh, crank this up, it should look pretty nice. But SHIB, why 720 and not 1080p? I believe I explained this in a video probably months ago, which was some random gameplay. So I'll just uh, kind of remind you guys that for uh, Machinima, when I'm able to start submitting videos, right now I'm a partner and not a director. I'm supposed to be a director, it's supposed to be just a one-time swoop, but they're really just taking their sweet time. I don't know what the deal is. I've been emailing them quite often. But anyways, they do not take 1080p footage nearly all their videos, unless there might be a special couple, it's always 720p. I'm not sure why, even if you send them a video in 1080p, they will re-render it down to 720p so it just looks worse. I'm not sure if it's to conserve space or, or speed up the processing time, because if you upload a really big video file, let's say 2 gigabytes, I think the maximum is 4 gigabytes for uh, YouTube, but I've never uploaded anything that big. I think the biggest file I ever uploaded was 
1.4 gigabytes. And what is this guy doing? Like, just sitting here 12x with body armor? Like, what the fuck? I, <laughs> really? I, I don't know. So, yeah, that really threw me. He's just sitting there in a downed, uh, um, is that the bus or the semi? I'm not sure. Anyways, back to what I was talking about with uh, Machinima videos. That, I mean, regardless of if you hate Machinima or you like them or, you know, they do, they do post quite a bit of Call of Duty, which, you know, I don't agree with because, honestly, we've all seen it before and there's hardly any Call of Duty videos I really enjoy, but I think I will be checking out Modern Warfare 3 just to do a couple gameplays, just to say, look, I did it, I played it, and it's the same thing as Black Ops and all that other stuff, so that's it. So, uh, yeah, look for that, and I do get the question that, Shibs, will you be doing Battlefield 3? That, obviously, guys, obviously I'm going to be doing videos like crazy, like absolute nuts. Complete madman. Okay, and here we go. So, ATV, right? I was going to take that and go get that freaking sniper that was sitting in whatever area that is. I'm planning on just flying off this cliff here. And just go total Rambo, but then Mortar Strike. Complete fail, but one thing I do enjoy is the physics, I mean, in this game, because they're pretty sweet. But when the graphics are cranked up this high, it looks like you're playing some kind of, like, AT Racer game. Like, it's really cool. So I've been digressing quite a bit. But anyways, just to wrap up the whole Machinima thing, I mean, they are who uh, cut the checks for me, so I'm not gonna, you know, bash them or say anything bad or good. But yeah, Machinima... They're who to be with. If you're a gameplay guy, you don't want to be a vanilla partnership on YouTube. You want to go with the best. So they, uh, they run a tight ship, but right now they are really slacking. So hopefully in the future, if you watch this video maybe a month out, hopefully I am a director and I can get videos on Machinima. This is a little hack route I like taking, but I completely fail and slide off the edge. The hardest part about that is doing the jump where you wrap around the rock. And once again, love the physics. So I cannot wait, cannot wait for Frostbite 2, just to see what we can do in the game. Obviously I've played Alpha, and oh, that would have been so awesome if that driver did not hit that tree there. But I do end up taking him out with the UMP, call that the ump, so I don't know if that's uh, correct, but that's what I like calling it. Basically this is where they leave uh, their deployment. I do hear a guy up in the trees, where uh, if you're listening close enough, sound plays a big factor in games so if you're someone that listens to let's say music as i was talking about with that camper guy then you're missing out because a lot of the sound cues here we go mr camper chilling with his uh sniper rifle hopefully not 12x body armor yeah i just you might as well just use mag ammo at that point i don't know little uh 360 parachute getting my grizz on but yeah I also get the question often, Shibs, why is that reload tooltip thing always on the middle of your screen? I honestly don't see it. Um, kind of like the thing I was talking about with the hit sound on Team Fortress 2, that it's just something that's been there for so long that I just don't, I don't really notice it, but it's useful to have. And so it's reminding me to reload when, um, you know, at full, full magazine or whatever you want to call it for the shotgun, I guess. And that is from, the reload is from, reload canceling. Pretty much everyone does it now. Or anyone that, uh, you know, has it down. So pretty much, it does take a little bit of timing. And I've kind of figured out that, especially with this uh, 870 combat shotgun, I've been doing it too fast, where I should have it a little more delayed. And I think coming up, I get it pretty nicely, so I'm starting to figure out the sweet spot. And it's not really like it'll improve your game a ton, but it's really very useful. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just uh, YouTube search Reload Cancel, or you can check my, what video is it? How, how to Play Medic. I believe I show you how to Reload Cancel with uh, MG36 or any other uh, big magazine weapon for the shotgun, it's a little bit different. But yeah, same difference, getting another uh, gold star, which is worth... 5,000 points, so if you're looking, how do I rank up in Bad Company 2, it's stick with the guns and every 100 kills, once you get to about 10,000, you'll get the platinum. Anyways, yeah, the medals are pretty awesome. And I've switched to Slug 
because this map has more range, it's not as close quarters as, you know, let's say uh, Cold War or White Pass, but I just was so sick from <laughs> the two knife deaths from earlier in the video when you saw from the other round. Uh, the one on the roof, I turned away because I'm like, that guy's dead. He's, he's dead. I mean, you shoot him right in the face, which after, if you look closely, it looks like the pellets went um, right over his shoulder. So that was just a heartbreaker. I mean, I was like, <laughs> I think I was yelling some obscenities into the microphone when that happened. Mentioned prior in this video is, yes, I'll be doing Battlefield 3 like crazy, so that's why I have so much variety right now on the channel between Counter-Strike, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead, Brink, 2142, Battlefield 2, whatever I really post, just really enjoy that variety right now, take advantage of it. So, a lot of people, I've been surprising because the view count isn't really telling me the truth, but it seems like people are really, really, really enjoying the Left 4 Dead 2 versus and survival and all that good stuff. Because those videos are fun because it's not much editing on my part and it's fun to... Okay, this is bullshit right here. This is why I don't knife anyone, or at least I try to. A lot of people say, wow, Shibby, you only have like seven or eight hundred dog tags and then so many other kills. Crap like that. I should have just blown his head off with the 870 in the back of the head. And once again, our good friend, Mr. Camper, having a picnic. So I'm saying, that's not happening. No more of this. I'm going sniper, and I'm going to show you how I picnic. I'm going to show you how I rage. So right here, you know, he's just chilling. I'm going to try and push a chair so he has a nice little, uh, you know, kick out his legs and kind of hang out because he's being worthless. And I'm trying to take a seat, and now I'm going to start breaking shit. So enjoy your uh, table in the face, and I'm going to continue falcon punching all your furniture. So, sorry to ruin the party, bro, but why you no move up and play the objective? That be preventing them from arming the crates, which you're really not doing. Trying to probably 12x body armor snipe them from way out there, and oh no, my cell phone. So that is it, guys, for the video. Thank you for watching. Once again, I am Shibby. 2142, 2142 being from Battlefield 2, Shibby being from Dude Where's My Car, a favorite movie of mine when I was in middle school, so I kind of got that nickname, at least gaming and all that good stuff. 11 and 5, you know, not anything super spectacular, but just a round I want to talk about because some crazy stuff happened in the round before that was just stupid, and yeah, this, this map is not fun when they don't play the objective. So a bonus clip right here, so enjoy that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have not subscribed, please do. That uh, really helps me out. If you want to give me a like just for me or for Battlefield or for cats or for guns or for something, that also really helps me out. You don't necessarily have to favorite the video every time, but you know, just a like. That that means a lot to me. And you know, if you just tell your friend, help spread the word. And the kitties, of course, they're so cute. I'll definitely have more footage of them when I get back home, which I'm moving soon. So that's it guys, Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff, Steam, etc. See you next time.